cup of tea to start the day. Welcome back, Hackland. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm gonna to be talking about and breaking down exactly how I learn songs for the video lessons that I do on my channel. I often always get a lot of questions about how I learn songs by ear, and I wanna kind of give you that knowledge and my thought process and how I do it, so that way you can literally learn any single song you ever want just by using your ear. All right, here we go. So the cool thing about this is you're trying to understand how to learn any song you want by using your ear. The cool thing about the guitar is that we have a lot of reference pitches on it that we can use because guitar players like to play in only a few keys. Um, the key of E, the key of A, all these different keys like that. So the first thing that we want to think about is before we even try to, to go to the guitar and try to figure this out is we want to listen to the song thoroughly through it entirely and listen to each part. So before I actually even sit down to try to break down a song, I will listen to it maybe like 10 or 20 times, just so that I really, really get it in my ear so I know how exactly it's supposed to sound. There's no point in sitting down in front of the computer and your guitar and trying to work a song out unless you're very familiar with it and you know exactly how it's supposed to sound. So the song of choice that we're going to be working on today is yet again another Youngblood song. If you guys are unfamiliar with Youngblood, check out all the other uh, tutorials that I've done on him. But I keep getting requests for Youngblood, and since I'm not all familiar with who he is as an artist or his musical styles or his music in general, um, this is a really, really good jumping point. So the song that we're going to be working on today and breaking it apart is... Young Bloods California. Um, I'm specifically using the acoustic live performance that he hit. I'll have a link in the description so you should check it out. But this is a song that was a request and we're gonna break it down and learn it and then at the end of this video click on the other video to see the actual tutorial of it. Okay, obviously I've already listened to this song several dozen times so I already have a good idea of kind of how the parts fall into it. So now we're just gonna listen to it and see if we can figure out exactly where all of the parts fall. Okay, so by listening to this first kind of intro part, I, I hear that that whole kind of four bar phrase happens twice. So it's like an eight, a eight measure intro. And from my ear, I hear that there are these two open strings, these B and E. If you listen to that, you can hear those two strings kind of droning in the beginning of it. Before the lyrics. So that leads me to believe that it's in a couple different keys here. It could either be in the key of E, the reason I think that is because we have two open E's here, possibly the key of A, maybe even B, but more than likely it's probably an E or maybe even like C sharp minor, because that's the relative major of E, or relative minor of E. So let me see here, let me, let's, see, let's hear that again. So from my ear, I hear, I hear this up here. This is the first chord. So actually, I was wrong. It's in C sharp minor. We're basically basing it off this C sharp minor chord here. Let's keep listening. Okay, so. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So that note's in there. That note's in there. Okay, let's keep listening. Okay, next chord. And see, notice how when I'm breaking this down, I'm listening to just section by section of the song. Okay, so that's the next chord. Okay. There we go, so here's the, here's the intro part. Simple enough. Basically, we have this C sharp minor with this kind of like added uh, added of the eleven. So I guess you could consider this like a C sharp minor eleven because you're adding in the eleventh scale tone here. And we're going down to this. Uh, we, what we could call this is also just another variation of the C minor eleven, C sharp minor eleven. And we're going to a B major triad, and then like a E major seven triad almost, but without a major third. So that's kind of like an open fifth chord with a major seventh. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh, 
Okay, so one disclosure, you may be thinking that this is all like prefabricated and I've already listened to this song before. Yeah, it's true, I've listened to it multiple times, but as far as actually like working it out on the guitar, this is all happening in real time. Um, I woke up this morning and I saw that I had this comment for the song and uh, that's why I figured I would do it. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, so continuing right on here, the intro part that we have. section happens twice. Let's keep listening and see what happens now. So that happens again. Okay, so now we have a new section and it sounds like there's like some power chords going on. And how I'm kind of figuring out that is I hear these low chords that are not major or minor. A power chord, if you didn't know, just has a, has a basically a root and a fifth. So it's not major or minor, it's just a five chord. It just has a root and a fifth of an interval. Um, and it sounds like it's like, dun, dun, let's hear it again. Dun, dun. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out that. I'm trying to replicate it with my voice. Dun, dun, let's see here. Uh, no. Uh, that might be it. Okay, that's right, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so that's the next part. It's just this B B power chord to C sharp power chord. So he's just going dun 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 dun. Let's just keep listening. Dun dun. So that just keeps happening. Dun dun. Alright, so here we have a new part. So up into that point, dun, 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 dun. Alright, so now with this new part. Okay, so now up into this point, I'm hearing some lead guitar lines, which I'll worry about that later, but I'm just hearing like this percussive kind of downstroke thing. So I'll probably power chords yet again. Let's listen to it one more time here and back it up. I can't believe you put me in a straight jacket. They tried to put me on a vision. Ah, same exact chords. So same exact chords as now just a different rhythm so now I'm thinking something like uh, don't they try to put me on Ritalin okay so yeah that's basically so basically what he's doing uh, young blood is just going from this C sharp <laughs> C sharp power chord to B power chord back and forth they tried to put me on Ritalin yeah okay so that's just what happens from there Keep listening. Okay, so here's a new part. Sounds like made the this might be the chorus maybe, a pre-chorus. Okay. Alright, so now what I'm hearing is I'm hearing this walk down, which leads me to believe that maybe we're using these same chords. Sounds like it. Let's listen to it again. Maybe I just need to go to California. Sweet wacky old you blew all my brains out. So that part right there, this California part. So it's just walking up with these chords again that we're using. So maybe like um dun, dun. So maybe like Listen to it again. Just need to go to court. Back. Back it up a little bit. Hoping I don't make a sound, but maybe I just need to go to California. Cause I am young, don't wanna die yet, can't afford it. Okay. So that part right there, C sharp minor power chord. Yeah, and then
easy enough. Then we're just walking up those chords again that we used in the beginning. Need to go to California. Swear to when I get old, you blow all my brains out. Swear to when I get old, you blow all my brains out. Okay. So now we basically have the intro chords again that happened again. Just keep listening to see if anything else changes here. Repeats again. So that B to C sharp. So then that repeats again. So it just repeats all over again. So now at this point I'm thinking about is there any parts that are different? Because I'm going to just keep listening through it to see if there's anything new or different that's going to add into it. So let's just keep listening. So intro chords again. So now here's a little bit of a different part. So the, the main part of the, the pinnacle of the song is just instead of playing through all those intro chords, you're just do, doing the B chord basically to the C sharp minor 11 chord. So, yeah, maybe I just leave for California. All right, let's keep listening and see what else we got in here. Keep listening. <laughs> so intro verse chords again. Okay, some lead guitar stuff here. Okay, cool, yeah, so the takeaway from this is there's like three kind of main distinctive parts. You have the intro chords, and they're all kind of, you know, going around that. And then you have the, the verse kind of chords, I guess. Right, and that happens over and over again. And then you kind of have these chords. So basically there's only like, you know, maybe like four distinct chord shapes and they kind of all just recircle in different ways. So now let's see if I can play along with it. Okay, so the idea up to this point now is to see if you can really test your ear and see if you can put all the parts kind of get together and kind of play with it and see if you have it all down. So let's see if we can do that here. Start from the top. Okay, 
new section. New section. Maybe I just need to go to California. Okay. Swear to God, I can't hold you, blow all my brains out. Swear to God, I can't hold you, blow all my brains out. Okay. Intro chords again. That's the entire song, it just repeats over and over again. So that's kind of the idea here. All right, so up until this point, you're kind of getting an idea of how I break apart songs and how I kind of listen to them and learn them. I have to do this a lot for a lot of the songs that I play, especially for this type of music where there's not like sheet music for it. Um, and a lot of the times the ultimate guitar tabs and those types of chord sheets are usually like super, super wrong. So I never ever try to trust those. I always try to trust my ear because your ear is gonna pick up on a lot more subtleties than a lot of people who are inexperienced at doing those tabs. I'm not knocking on them all the time. Sometimes there's good um, sheets out there, but a lot of the times you really have to try to focus and use your own ear. So you're kind of understanding that when you're doing this thing and breaking it apart, you have to be really familiar with the song and all of its individual parts. And I'm always listening to where the chords are traveling. If they're traveling up or down, if they're low or high, or just kind of understand whether or not the chords are major or minor, or if they're power chords, or if there's open strings. Like in this case, this piece has got a lot of good examples of using its open strings and how I can figure out that the key of the song is a bass and a key that uses open strings. Obviously the song can't be in a flat key because you have an E and a B so if you're playing in the key of B flat well that automatically rules that out because you have these two open like strings that are kind of droning through the entire piece. So that's what I'm always thinking about. I'm thinking about knowing the song in and out kind of listening to figuring out what the key is and listening to it and just trying to figure out with my ear, you know, where exactly the positions are on the fretboard. All right guys, welcome back to my actual studio area in which I shoot my videos and record. So I hope you guys like this and I hope this gave you a little insight and maybe some tools and tricks on how to learn some of your favorite songs by ear. And I'm gonna release these two different videos because I do have a full video lesson for this um, on the channel and I'll have a link in the description so maybe you can kind of watch these in two parts and kind of get a better understanding of uh, you know how I do it and how you can do it as well. So I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next video and this is new for you. Uh, if you're a new uh, vi visitor to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out all the links down in the description. I'll see you guys later. Take care.